Hi there. Okay, what, so what I have here is I have the main board out of a Phantom 3 Pro transmitter. I'm um, actually out of that one. Uh, I had a battery charging issue where it would uh, two LEDs would flash. It would eventually quit charging. Thought I had a bad battery. I tried another battery. That was not my issue. The issue is this board. Well, on this board, and what I found is that uh, online you'll see people talking about reflowing it. And most of them, they're saying, well, I reflowed everything on the board. What they mean by that is they used a hot air station, a hot air gun, like what I have here, um, to heat up the board or anything where they thought maybe uh, that would solve their issue. Well, I came across one post and they said, nah, well, then wait a minute here. If you're going to look at anything, you're going to want to look at, if I can get this crazy phone to focus, you're going to want to be looking at this IC right here, this 8-pin IC right here. And you're going to want to reflow around that. And from what I understand, that's actually the charge sense uh, for the cells uh, IC. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that's from what I, I found online that, that from the uh, post that they were talking about. So, unfortunately, what I can't show you is it was broken because I've already done it. I tried to do a Facebook Live and it looked like crap. Uh, I didn't share it because I looked like crap. So I, I'm just going to show you now, I, when I do plug this uh, charger in, I'm gonna, now going to get all four LEDs will now light, it will charge, and it will completely charge now. Uh, and all I did was just simply reflow right next to the LEDs, that I see right there. And uh, so what I did is I, I used a hot air station, as I said. And uh, I bought that for, uh, I don't know, God, about uh, 70 bucks off of Amazon. I haven't had one in years. I used a little bit of paste uh, flux. Uh, thankfully, they included some because I didn't have any and forgot to order some. I put a little bit of flux. Let's go ahead and unplug this uh, charger here. Uh, I put a little bit of flux uh, on that IC. And then I hit it with... Uh, 450 degrees Celsius until I saw that chip move just slightly. I knew it was loose and stopped. It now works. So if you're going to repair your Phantom 3 Pro transmitter that has the battery charge issue, you're going to want to reflow around that IC. And that's it. Thank you.